Have it, cowboys and cowgirls. This is my first potions class. I am so excited. Who's that? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Oh, beautiful professor. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Okay. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Uh -huh. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. Oh. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's is he the class, class nerd? completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion okay. of your own. What's wrong with you, mister? You never know when you might need uh -huh. it. Please begin. Okay. I love potions now. I hope the potion stuff is the same as Harry Potter 6. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. Uh -huh. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Whole plum juice. Again. Now stir. Stir, stir, stir. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm ready, mister. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Uh -huh. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? That's correct. Yes, sir. Good. Jay Pippins. For the potions for all cures and maladies. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished uh -huh, brewing. Okay. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin. Oh, event. no. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his Do office? Do you want some? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Nah, man, I ain't gonna you remember steal me, from his you? resources. Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common yeah, room. The Weasley Listen, kid. anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Yeah, you said that the last time. Just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. Oh, okay. I simply need a single fruit. I ain't feather. gonna do it. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh, no. okay, I say yes. Let's say yes. I'll get you the fruit feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay. I don't really want to do it, but okay, let's do it. Your potion should not be that good. That's the fur. Those are the eggs. That's the chest. And Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of now, with suspicious of the risk being made of the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more hours to join those people surrounding it. And he's one of those honors. Nice. Oh, food was a real cute now. Revelio. There ain't nothing else. Let's go. A well prepared Witcher Wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment yeah, to brew. Yeah, you're gonna mess up again. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. 
Wish I could just replace it with one from Deep Wind. That's not practice. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience okay. and be thorough. Now I wanna make um, a viewer's potion. Oh come on now, I wanted to add the ingredients myself, just like in Harry Potter 6. Hope we have another opportunity for that somehow. Yay, let's wait until it gets brewed. 15 seconds now, folks. <coughs> but the game is so nice, filled with stuff. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yay, I'm ready. Pick up now. Yep, that's it now. Let's go. Maximum invisibility. Yep. Focus potion. And thunder brew. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? What's happened to you, mister? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh no! Mister, what you doing now, folks? What happened? You did that last time. <laughs> well done, yes. Professor Sharp must have learned you, a sir. lot during. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Oh, I was impressed that now. you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggermeld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. Uh -huh. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiggenweld potion on their first oh, try. Oh, that's my account well of done. you. Thank you, Maestro. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. Oh, no. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but... I am a self-taught speaker. Oh, okay. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my Man, next Man, you a big nerd, huh? Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. Shaw, okay. See you soon, no doubt. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Let's be honest. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a yep. lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potion. Nah, master man, I know, yet. I know. Don't In worry In addition about to it. having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Uh -huh. Pay particular attention in herbology. Oh, I will. The Professor plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That's true. That'll be all. Thank you. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay, thank you. Revelio. Then then here. So it's time for us to. That was an interesting yeah, class. You messed up, Thanks, Gareth. You. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. No, I wasn't. I appreciate your help. No, I won't help you I hope again. Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Yeah, you man, you messed it up. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp nope. may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Nah, man, he's a Best genius. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Nah, I don't believe it. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.